On the one hand, you let go of everything and you live in the eternal now. Because that's all there is. See, memory is an illusion. It's all gone. So everything you know about that makes an impression on you is no longer there. That's the meaning of Maya. There is only the eternal now. There is only the present moment. There never will be anything else. Because even what you're remembering is happening in the present. The memory is in the eternal now, isn't it? Yes, people, so we are here at Terminal 5 Heathrow, just about to set off on the journey for the Operation Atlas. The prep has been done, the hard work has been done, and now we head over as an absolute fucking mob to support myself competing at the Atlas. Let's get it going. Thank you. It's a balance trick. Yes guys, Joe Jeffrey, Team Physique Collective coach, here with the big man himself, the classic ghost, Leon Pierce, in Dallas. We're, we're in Dallas now, aren't we? We're not, and we're just about to get a taxi, so we've just got off the, what was it, 10 and a half hour-ish, 10 hour flight to Dallas. We're gonna get an Uber to the Airbnb, we're gonna go Metroflex, we're gonna go Walmart. It's like 10 p.m. English time now, and none of us have slept, so it's gonna be quite a, sort of late one on the body clock, but rather kind of get the remedial things done now so that we can relax and just kind of feed up, chill out, get to the athletes meeting tomorrow with not too much to think about. So we're gonna take you guys along. We're here for a week, but we're just gonna get little snippets along the way. Of course, we'll film the show. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys see some cool shit. This is many of our first times in America, including my own, so I'm really excited. So off to the Airbnb. So, uh, apparently not a good idea to travel with any kind of performance enhancing drugs to the US. Not that that's what these are. Okay. Uh, for entertainment purposes, I so guess we'll say. And for the case of the app, we have just um, had a very nice gentleman send us uh, these for the duration of our stay. Halo, Anavar. Winstroll, insulin pins, growth hormone, Hypothetic. bacteria, static water. Um, rather than having to worry about any custom stuff, because apparently they're pretty, they're pretty strict here in the US. So we're all good to go. This is the Airbnb, by the way, guys. You probably saw some B-roll. It's absolutely sick. Insane. Jazz did a great job. What we're going to do now is try and figure out what app you use because apparently this app exists to down uh, to download to, to order to download food to, <laughs> that's the future to when, when we can teleport food to our kitchen uh we're going to order some food here hopefully rather than having to go get it so we can go train and then it'll be here when we get back so that's the plan slow gradual drying off process now which is easily done it's just keep stress low chill out eat baseline calories sodium and fluid are staying as normal and it's, it's literally just rolling from here i really don't think we're going to be adjusting anything based on the way today's gone i was pretty spilled last night it's just filled off like uh, sorry dried off maybe 
sort of 30 to 40 percent ish from where it was this morning if we can literally just replicate that one more time but still maintain this degree of fullness as it's held today then that'll be absolutely perfect so that's the goal hopefully that's what's going to happen Right guys, so we got a look at Leon in Metroflex like you would have seen. Essentially just looking at how far through this proximity to the end point of dryness that we want him to be is currently at. And we have this rough target of being, you know, we've got this two days of, of baseline calories where the focus becomes on diuresis rather than loading. So he's fully loaded, he's stayed fully loaded, which is good. He's dried off maybe that 30 to 40% marker, which is good. He's still got another whole day and then most of another day to get fully dry to the show. So it's just carefully, slowly drying out, making sure he stays full. So we're gonna go back to the Airbnb now. It's 2.30 a.m. UK time, so everyone is knackered. And as you've seen, we just trained and gone shopping. So all we're gonna do now is Uber home, eat and sleep, and then we'll be back to it tomorrow. And Leon will more than likely be on exactly the same meals as he was today. Same fluid, same sodium, same potassium. See if we can just continue along this progression that we've seen happening. Um, so yeah, anything entertaining happens, we'll show you guys. Peace out for tonight. Right guys, we've been to 7-Eleven this morning and sampled some of Texas, Texas's, Texas's finest sugar-free, calorie-free energy drinks. I had, I had this one, the Ghost Sour Patch Kids, categorically the best energy drink I've ever had. Hard to believe it's calorie free. It tastes honest. exactly like the sour patch. It, it tastes like yeah, it tastes it's just sour like, then sweet hit. Sour then sweet hit, like your man Spectre said. Um, I did try some of Brad's Warheads Ghost. That was good as well, watermelon. But I preferred the sour patch. Still to try is this peach monster. Peach chicken. And apparently, the Fiesta tastes different here, according to Jake. So I'll give that a go. Who had the Zoa? Did you have the Zoa? I had the Zoa. It's good? Very good. The Rock did well. What flavour is it? Oh, orange. <laughs> orange, yeah, it's like orange. Fanta. Basically like orange Fanta. Good work, Dwayne the, the, the Rock Johnson. A watermelon, which isn't very good. It's the best one. Yeah, it's like <laughs> proper hydration formula as well, the Zoa. Is it? Yeah, it's got all we got a bang for later. The bang is my coat. Is that a UK one? <laughs> I don't like know. The Big Daddy. Daddy flavor. What is to it? get 10% of Zoa. Uh, <laughs> radical <laughs> Skedaddle. Sam Skedaddle. Interesting. You know that. Yeah. What flavour is that? <laughs> so it's Radical Skedaddle, bro. Radical Skedaddle flavour. We'll keep the reviews coming. I'm going to have one pre-workout. I think I'm going to have the Fiesta. So, we're going to go and train at Planet Fitness as well. Hopefully, won't set off the lung alarm. I won't because I'm not strong enough to set off lung alarms. One of the other lads might. We're going to go and train legs. So, yeah. To get into it slower, and then it's when it goes, oh, I just need to tighten that there.
Balling. <laughs> okay, now it's benefits money. <laughs> How are we? Thank you. Are we all getting into this? Yeah. You guys are into is uh, bodybuilding. 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 Oh, so there's okay. a show on tomorrow that your man back here in the tracksuit's competing in. Oh, nice. So we've just got Tan and Athletes meeting now. The venue looks really cool. It's like a like a little expo as well as the show. So there's some clothing stuff, uh, some clothing stalls. There's like powerlifting stuff around there. The stage actually looks really good. Lighting looks really good as well. So I'm pretty hyped on that because we were looking online and we couldn't see too much of what we did see from previous years, which was like old phone footage. So couldn't really work out how good the stage is going to be. But the venue and the stage looks great. So absolutely hyped. As we said earlier, Leon's just been slowly drying out through the day. We looked at some posing in the garage, which you guys would have seen, and he's he's pretty much nearly there now. Cranked up the diuresis a little bit more now, like fluids just come down a touch. Peak max has gone in. Everything else is going to stay the same. Sodium's going to stay the same. We just keep looking really carefully, letting him dry off and just get get it perfect. And then tomorrow is anybody's guess what we do. Just got to look at the physique through the day and make sure he stays dry but fully topped off and ready to rock and roll. Can't get right, yeah. Wake this like a proper up one? shredded. Melt fat while you sleep. Looks you like guys a, are thinking um, growth hormone, you're thinking DMP, you're thinking all of these drugs that you can take to burn fat before you sleep. But actually the like key is five HTP <laughs> GABA and L-carnitine <laughs> and that's exactly how Leon got shredded whilst he slept for this show. Hand up. Hand up, yeah. Jeez. Tan's really nice, you might not even need that second row. Oh, it's a lovely tan. Oh, it's jazz when she gets it because you're quite dark, man. Happy. Very happy. Starting, starting to get to that point of dryness now where it doesn't have as much pop, but that's fine because we're going to essentially just keep drying off overnight. And then Leon will wake up very dry, but also there won't be a lot of pop and whatnot there. But then throughout the day tomorrow is going to be pretty high carb, high sodium, high fluid. Anyway, and we won't have any issues with swinging fluid back the other way because of some of the things that we're doing and the fact that there just isn't enough time to pull that fluid back on from from that point of being like fully 100% dried off either. So the plan is still going to plan. So we're gonna stick to the original plan with no adjustments right now. Uh, we're gonna cook up the last couple of meals now. Chris Faulkner has joined us. We've got a real legit American with us now, so we can, can answer all, we can, questions we can answer all of our <laughs> dumb questions about America, like where the fuck do you even buy a green with rice? I had images of going into like the shop and just Baby, buying grits like Ronnie Coleman. Um, no. That's obviously not the case. But anyway, we're going to spend the rest of this night chilling now, put the feet up, watch some Netflix, and then we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. This is actually how they wear it in Texas. <laughs> what you see on the films is not real life. <laughs> this is how cowboy hats are really worn. Yeah. And they're made of clay. <laughs> It'd be easy to get on the plane. <laughs> that proper traditional American cream of rice. Different consistency, but I dig it. It's nice. Twice as nice, like cream of rice.
<laughs> he's, he's stinking out the fucking downstairs, so you, know, you haven't got to worry about up here. <laughs> Americans. <laughs> So, how much, was, how much was this to require? Hundred dollars a day. Hundred dollars a day. How many seats has it got? Eight seats. Eight, eight seats. Big V8. With Big V8. <laughs> which is less. Which is less than half of what we've been spending on Uber. So, how many MPGs? Single digit. <laughs> we'll get it like Two. seven mile a gallon. Thanks, man. Hey, y'all want some coffee? <laughs> Anyone want any coffee? We're going to Starbucks. Just took it. Jazz said, "What would you recommend a British person to have?" Coffee, biscuits, and gravy. Do, do you like coffee, like more of a milkshake version, very sweet, or just hot and black? Jazz said, "Whatever." I don't have a caramel latte. Caramel latte. Caramel latte. I'll take um, a black coffee with like a shot of like a vanilla or mm -hmm. something in it. You might want to write this down, Jake. Uh, hey, how about you text me that in the WhatsApp group? That might be official. Yes, yeah, I can do that. Text Brilliant. the full order. Right on. Legend. Peace. That's fucking nice. It's like creamy, isn't it? <laughs> but it's, it's zero calorie, isn't it? Yeah. Better than, better than, do we not, do we reckon we get these in here? This is a, what's it called, a nitro coffee. Nitro coffee. Nautilus nitro coffee. So creamy. Yeehaw, partner. Yeehaw. Oh, sorry. You want some? I'll give it you. You tanned. Melana tanned. Tanning. Give us the ghost eyes. We've, uh, we got to the venue maybe an hour or so ago. Leon had to have his tan done again because the tanners here fucked it, to be honest. Loads of people's tan went green and yeah, it wasn't good. So Leon's gonna get a refund on that luckily, but he's got his uh, another base coat and top coat on now. The color's looking really good. A month's done money on that tan. A month of his government funded benefits, benefits on that tan. <laughs> uh, so now we've got until like, you don't have to be back here till like four, do you? Four for the pro check-in, um, yeah. And then it's only an hour from there, then I'm on stage. And then I'm going to take the whole damn Atlas, baby. Let's go. Meals are prepped. Fluids prepped. Sodium is prepped. Everything's done. So it's just chilling until four now. Don't know what we're going to do. Leon just needs to relax, though. So maybe we'll get Leon somewhere where he can chill. And then we'll go and see some shit, I guess. Sixty, not sixty. Look at her rip, boy. <laughs> How could such a big engine be so slow? I stop a shit. There's the puff punch. My mini scales. It's my wedding anniversary today, so I needed to get Jazz something better than me, which I mean, isn't hard. It's just dieting, isn't it? Uh, so that's not really. That'll probably do. Yeah. I'm not even ashamed of it. Any preference? <laughs> Don't know. There's a massive one over there. Like, ginormous. Yeah. It's really all about the size. I reckon that, um, well, that, that top one, that pleasure. Pleasure swing. Pleasure After being married to me the, for so long, some size would be swing. welcome, I imagine. He's in the pleasure swing. Pleasure swing? Yeah, right. Oh shit, get ready for anything. No, because that would have to involve me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a door swing. That's oh, that cool. massive black one. You get, okay. You get the door swing, you get attached the dildo to the wall. I think that door swing's actually a really good idea. I'm just saying, because I can just sit down. <laughs> 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 it's like Rick and Morty. 
Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that is. Just double check that though. Rick and Morty theme in it. Yeah. 34, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So bad. Then he took weed. I had the weed. I was fine. Skepta. 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 Yeah. You could be fuller from where you are, this is what I'm saying. Might have to do a little bit more sodium, a little bit more carb, a little bit more fluid than planned. Do for a the top line. Yeah. He's a bit more. What food have we even got here? Might be worth coming and getting some food. Yeah? Yeah, some sodium and carby. God damn. God damn. <laughs> does, does look a little bit flattened off, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the top of the looks good. It's crazy. I mean, you're crazy dry though, crazy dry. Yeah. It's a metaphor I'm going to get here in time. He said yeah. 2 o'clock. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's like crazy, crazy dry. But we just could just do with a little bit more fullness in there now. Thing is, you have a good pump up as well anyway. Yeah, when you pump up, that'll be different. Those quads look dumb, man. What the fucking... You've got fucking lines in your abductors. <laughs> Where are we going for food, Chris? Let's do Chipotle. Cool. Let's go and get a Chipotle, Leon. Yeah, that entry is fucking... Just remember your hammies. Which apparently good for you. Ugh. In 0 0.5. Say what? We've got an American here with us who sorted me with uh, just exactly what he's having it. It looks insane. What did I get? I got um, three Chipotle fans. We got a bowl with double white rice, double chicken, fajita veg, fajita veg, cheese, guac, cheese pico, green guac. salsa. I don't even know what pico is. The whole thing. It looks crazy. Uh, Leon needed. Uh, so basically we've been drying Leon off really hard here um, and he's got to that point now where he, we just looked at him in the garage he's really dry really hard but he's flattened off a little bit in that process not a little bit he's flattened off a lot um, which is fine because we've still got like five hours until stage and I like to hit that point where we can now feed up into the show go a bit heavier on the calories on the fluid on the sodium it's not going to be long enough from how dry he is now for him to get anywhere close to starting to pull that fluid back in um, so we essentially just need to rest, feed, and fill up from now. So, yeah, we're at Chipotle getting the goods. Look at that. That's you. Would you look at that? Here. God damn. Burrito, Thank you. you. That's good. Oh, that, that is, is fucking good. After that. <laughs> first bite. Mm. The competitor. Mm. Mm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sure, this is error. <laughs> <laughs> That is unreal, man. I would it compare mm. to a UK rip-off. I've never had anything like this in the What's UK. What's the UK? Oh, you get burritos in the UK, they're just shit. What is this shit the UK place you Yeah, we've had yeah. burritos. You'd never get like a bowl like this though, would you? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I think I've seen that. I'm sure. Tony, you're gonna have... Just gonna let the statue in. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. That's better. Yeah. Feel better? Yeah. Yep. We have arrived at the GBO Atlas 
Leon has just gone in for another coat of tan. He just got to get touched up, really, underarms and stuff. The Chipotle trip went lovely. We've just got to look at him back at the Airbnb and he looks nutty. So there's really nothing else to do. He's sipping on a little bit of Gatorade. Like that. Did I sound American there? He's sipping on a little bit of Gatorade oh, back there. <laughs> uh, I thought that was quite good, that. Wasn't it's it? y'all. Uh, y'all. <laughs> oh, on the end. He's sipping on a little bit of Gatorade back there, y'all. <laughs> Right. I approve. Very American. 10 out of 10 ratings from an American. Uh, so like I was saying, guys, there's nothing left to do now but enjoy the show, hopefully win the show, and then go and get some pizza afterwards. We're done and we fucked. <laughs> no, um, we just come out of the show. Leon didn't get best poser. He didn't even place. So basically, he's fired from Physique Collective as he is an embarrassment. Got left. <laughs> Ian built. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, it's the way bodybuilding goes. In the journey for greatness, there'll be many, many more losses when the opposition gets higher and higher. So it's something you've got to learn to deal with better each time, and it's all part of the experience. That's Come back better. That's all we can do. The winning mindset. Yeah, you win, you win some, you lose some. Today we lost some, but lost some to, to try to try to not sound too cliche about it, uh, it was Leon's best look to get uh, to date. He was grainy, hard drive full. We tried a new peak and it went really well. It's something that we'll definitely use in the future. It just ran so smooth. Um, yeah, it was great. We and walked. a genuine stacked lineup. It was a genuine, it was genuine a good, stacked lineup. But it won't be no fridges. Stacked, it won't be as stacked as the fucking burger I'm about to mm. discombobulate. That's yeah. for damn sure. And that's the truth with some cheese on it. <laughs> Let's you get the fuck out of that vehicle. Oh, no. <laughs> I've even got them left. Get, get, get out that truck now, boy. <laughs> you get out that truck now, girl. Before I give you a slap and pull out Woman, my Glock. Do like a GTA removal. Throw a pistol whip your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, my G, so we have got the post show meal. Been dieting for a long time and a lot of time throughout this year, so I've not been able to eat these kind of foods for a long time. So the first selection we've gone with is the Whataburger. It was a recommendation from quite a few Texas guys out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, I've got the, like a three piece combo, which is fries, you got some chicken strips, and you got some Texas toast, which has been recommended. I think it's just, just eggy fried toast, I think. Whatever it is, it looks good. We have toast in England. And we got this big triple meat bacon toast. cheeseburger as well, which Joe oh, on the found on there, and I'm going with the thing. same see. thing because it looks nuts, which is three different meats, bacon, and cheese. Cheese. 
Jeez. Texas <laughs> toast, boy. It's time to get it down. Give me my go. goddamn burger. That is nice. Isn't it? Mm hmm. Um, Water burger. Beef and. That's it. Oh my mm. god. It's fat. It's insane. Like, how is this mm. fast food? Mm. 10 out of 10. Like, mm -hmm. I'd expect this. I'd be, if I got this with five guys, I'd be massively impressed. It's insane. The five. Yeah, three. Jeez. You want some barbecue sauce with it? Yeah, go on. I'll try some. I'll, I'll try some Texas barbecue sauce. Oh, no. oh, Hell yeah, brother. We're yeah. munching <laughs> that fried chicken. Dreadful, isn't it? Just don't this wake is probably up. one of the best burgers I've had in my just life. Just don't wake up, yeah. Just don't wake up. But I am also just coming out of prep. What a really? burger. Um, that bladder before going to bed. What a burger, yeah. What a burger. Big man thing. No burger left now. I was to say I can confirm as somebody that isn't just coming out of breath, that is the best burger. And there's a top tier fast food burger. Best yeah, fast food burger. burger. From an American. Top tier fast food burger. Quality. Top tier fast food burger. Water. One thousand calorie burger. God damn. God damn boy, that's a fat burger. You should tap them in there. God damn girl, look at that fat burger. Water burger is water burger. Give us an ending quote. What, in, in, in taste? Yeah. We're not filming anything tomorrow, no. We've got to end this video and then we'll start in there. Okay, right, this video. Thank y'all for watching this uh, episode of um, Texas Failed Bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> we close this off like a true American with a north of 1,000 calorie burger. I'm going to eat my cookie and then I'm going to hit the hay. <laughs> <laughs>